How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the location of all Lapis Lathulis in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Lapis Lathuli are the final upgrade materials we need to reach the ultimate version of each of the prosthetic tools. A total of 10 Lapis Lathuli are going to be required to fully upgrade all of your prosthetic tools. However, unfortunately for us, only 6 Lapis Lathuli can be obtained per playthrough as they are unique items. Thus mean that you will need to venture forth into New Game Plus if you wish to fully upgrade all of them. Obviously, slight spoiler alert, I suppose, there's going to be locations and bosses from late game in this video. We can get two Lapis Lathuli instantly as a reward for defeating the Demon of Hatred. The Demon of Hatred is one of the very late game optional bosses. We can only face him once the Ashen Outskirts are on fire. To return to the Ashen Outskirts, by the way, if you're having trouble doing this, we simply want to go to the Old Grave, and below the Old Grave Idol, there'll be a new bridge that wasn't there before. You can cross over this bridge, returning to Ashen Outskirts. To get to the Demon of Hatred, you simply want to follow the path as if you're heading to the beginning of the Ashen Outskirts, backtracking. There'll be an idol there that you can sit at, and it will teleport you to the arena where you can face the Demon of Hatred. And once we kill him, he will drop two Lapis Lathuli. Another Lapis Lathuli is obtained as a reward for killing one of the Shichiman Warriors. Specifically, it's going to be the one in Fountainhead Palace. We can find this miniboss by going to the Palace Grounds Idol, backtracking through the door and then jumping down the waterfall to the left, and at the bottom here we can find the Shishimen Warrior. If you want to make this very easy, just use some Divine Confetti and just spam the hell out of him. Two more of the Lapis Lathuli can be purchased from the Fountainhead Pot Noble. This is going to be the merchant we can obtain by following the pathway from the Palace Ground Idol as seen here on screen, exiting out to the right and jumping through this cave. Each of these Lapis Lathuli will cost you 6 scales. Now if you've already done the side quest where you kill the great massive carp, this NPC will be dead, but you can still obtain these by simply going to the pot merchant back in Hidata Estate, which will inherit all the purchasable items from this pot noble if he happens to die. The final Lapis Lathuli can be obtained related to what we said just a second ago. We want to do the side quest where we need to kill the great massive carp in Fountainhead Palace. To do this, we need to go to the pot noble merchant here in Hidata Estate, and we want to spend a total of at least 7 scales in his shop. Once we've done that, if we talk to him a couple of times, he will give us the truly precious bait. Once we have the truly precious bait, we want to go to the feeding grounds idol here in the Fountainhead Palace, ring the bell to call the carp, and feed him this truly precious bait we've obtained. This will make him swim off. Then we can go to the idol at the end of the sunken valley here where we fought the guardian ape boss fight. Here we'll find the corpse of the great carp where we can collect its whiskers. After doing this, if we return to the Pot Noble Merchant here in Hidata Estate, he will have turned into a mini carp, and beside him we'll be able to see the Lapis Lathuli just resting on the ground, ready for us to pick up. According to quite a few sources, you can apparently collect this Lapis Lathuli from either this merchant or the other one in Fountainhead Palace. However, I didn't really get a chance to check that out as I just grabbed it from here before checking out the other place, so if anyone would like to confirm that, that would be very appreciated down in the comments. Though before we end this video, I know what some of you guys are thinking. You probably already searched Google of how to get Lapis Lathuli, and you've probably seen some forums or some Reddit posts of people saying you can farm Lapis Lathuli from the Okami Warriors here in the Fountainhead Palace. That seems to be not true at all. A, I've never seen a single photo or video proof of anyone actually obtaining one of these. My brother personally spent, I think, over like 7 to 10 hours farming Okami Warriors with max drop rate buffs and not a single Lapis Lathuli dropped. Cool. So I would be very skeptical of the idea of being able to farm Lapis Lathuli from anywhere. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.